welcome back to Beauty Bee. I have so, so much to do today. So we're going to see if we can't speed through this video pretty quickly. This is an empties video. I don't have a ton of empties to talk about today, but I do have some really, really big ticket items to talk about. It kind of makes me wish that I was trying to do reverse rouge or something because I would make a lot of progress towards that goal today. Alas, I am not, but let's, let's get started. Let's get into this. I think we can start with a couple of hair care pieces. So the first item that I would have used up is from Way. This is their leave-in conditioner. I have a sample size. I bought this as an add-on through Ipsy, I believe. And it looks like there's so much product, product left in there, but I cannot get any more out. I actually... I uh, took off the top and just put it upside down on my uh, Saints and Sinners leave-in conditioner to get as much out as I could. I left it on there for a day or two and there is still some product left in this tube. I thought that this smelled absolutely divine. Um, it's a very beachy clean scent. Really nice. You can definitely see why Way now uh, sell perfumes. I thought that this did pretty nice things for my hair. I don't think that it was so next level amazing that I would go out and purchase it at full price, but if I saw another sample of this, I would consider purchasing it. I actually have purchased another sample of this, again through Ipsy as an add-on for about $2.50, so I'm really happy with that and I think I will likely continue to pick up these small sizes. I I can't quite bring myself to splurge for the, for the big one though. The other hair product I used up this month is from Love Beauty and Planet. This is their sulfate free shampoo scrub and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this but this is almost like a gel texture. It's a quite a thick gel. It's sort of an oobleck consistency if you've ever made slime or oobleck before. It's kind of like that and it has these little bits of charcoal, I think scrubby pieces in it. I use this about once a week as a clarifying shampoo. I do use quite a bit of hair product. I use a lot of dry shampoo. I use leave-in conditioner, serums, etc. And I think that this did a really nice job of Sort of letting me start fresh again. I'm not sure that I love this delivery method. I didn't really like needing to scoop it out time after time, especially since this lasted me quite a while. I would have gotten this in early March, I believe. So this lasted me seven months and I wasn't super comfortable with the idea that every time water was getting into it and there was water sitting in there for seven months. I mean, it's not a huge deal because I wash it away. It's not like this was some kind of moisturizer that I was going to leave on my skin for hours at a time, but I have purchased a clarifying shampoo that's more of a traditional shampoo style, and I think I'm going to use that for a while. I think that that will give me a better idea of just how well this worked and whether or not this particular style of clarifying shampoo is something that I want to use in the future. One more hair thing, kind of forgot about this. This is from Aussie and it is their Clean Volume Dry Shampoo. It's a dry shampoo, it works just fine. Um, I do like the scent on these Aussie products and I like the price tag as well. I want to say that I got this for maybe $3.50 or $4, so it was a price tag I was good with. This lasted me quite a while. I think I've had this for a little bit over a year. Now I've really only been consistently using dry shampoo every other day for about four months maybe and I also gone through a similar size thing of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo in that time. So, uh, knowing that I'm going through 
basically a can every two months makes me a lot more interested in the Oxy price point than the Living Proof price point. I was pretty happy with this. I am working on a different Aussie dry shampoo right now. Uh, they're Tousle Hustle, I think, and I'm just as happy with that one. Nothing crazy special, but they work well. As usual, we're gonna save makeup for the end, so let's do skincare next. Um, I finished up a thing of cotton balls. I'd had these for quite a while, I think. Um, really nothing to talk about, just wanted to note that I had finished those. I kind of want to just mention things like that so that I can keep track for myself of how long it takes me to go through things like cotton balls, cotton rounds, etc. Just so I know how ridiculous it is to have backups. That's really my reasoning behind that. Um, let's go with the really big ticket item next. This is from Dior. This is their Capture to Tell Dream Skin Care and Perfect. I used this as a serum and I, I don't know why I'm trying to squirt anything out. There's nothing left in the tube. I did get a little dot, but um, this was this light pink. I want to say that it was sort of in between a serum and a moisturizer. I used it in the morning practically as skin primer and I thought that it did a nice job of giving me a little bit of moisture, smoothing out my skin a little bit. It felt like it blurred a little bit. It felt a little bit brightening. Um, I don't think it did any of those things amazingly well though. I got this from Influencer for free for review. I would never have purchased this and I would not recommend that anyone else purchase this. I think that if you have, I want to say this is like almost $100 to burn on skincare or just want to burn $100 at Dior, I'm sure you can find something better. I have, I think, two more skincare bits. So first up, we have this Tony Moly serum. This is their Cooling Marine Concentrate Serum. It has a little whale on it and he is adorable. I liked this. I think that of the two Tony Moly serums that I've tried, I've tried this one and the watermelon one. I think I liked this one better. This did feel quite cooling and I liked how wet it felt. This did feel like a water gel, which is definitely one of my favorite types of products. It's definitely my favorite texture for skincare products. I found that this smelled nice. It felt really good on my skin. It felt really hydrating. Um, this is one thing that I would actually consider purchasing in full size. I don't really need a serum right now. I feel that that's just an extra step that I don't necessarily need, but if I were to find this product on really nice sale, at Ulta or something, I would consider it. One more skincare bit. This is from Tarte and this was their Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer. I used this as a night moisturizer and it was another water gel. I thought that this had a little bit of a weird smell to it. It smelled a little bit like cucumber, which not my favorite scent, but it was fine. Um, the moisturizer itself was really nice. Again, it felt very cooling. I used these at the same time for a while and my skin has never felt so hydrated in my life. So I'm not sure exactly which of these is more to credit for that. I think it was probably the mixture that really worked so magically. I'm not quite willing to shell out the tart prices for the full size. My skin is pretty normal. It doesn't need anything super heavy. It definitely doesn't need anything particularly expensive. I got this as part of a kit and I think the kit itself had four items and was $12 for that price. I think this was an excellent, excellent thing to try out and I did enjoy it. I would be interested in getting another mini or even a full size if it came in another kit. And now we get to makeup. I actually have quite a bit of makeup this month, but let's start with a brush that I pay 
And this is from e.l.f. I think this is one of the first brushes that I ever got. I think I would have gotten this when I was in college, so maybe like a junior in college. So that would have been what, like 2014 or 2015? And I've washed it so many times, I've used it far, far more times, and it just, it finally broke on me. I do really like this brush though, and I think that it might be useful for others to know that this is the crease brush from e.l.f. I believe. Oh, the blending eye brush from e.l.f. And it's lasted surprisingly well over the past eight years, um, considering how inexpensive it was. Two dollars, very well spent there. I have one eyeshadow that I have finished. We've actually talked about this before, so I will breeze through it pretty quickly. This is a copper, it was a mixture of a bunch of sleek shadows that I had in the When the Sun Goes Down miniature eye palette from Sleek. Um, I had this in my supporting cast project pan. It was the lead roll and it's gone. I finished it off. Um, this has actually been gone for a few weeks at this point. I think I must have finished this pretty soon after my last update, and I really enjoyed it, but it had been repressed goodness knows how many times, at least twice, and the texture on it was really not great anymore, so I'm glad that I used it up instead of needing to probably throw it away a few months from now. And then I have three lip products. Let's start with the one full-size lip product I finished off. This is from Flower and it is their Petal Pout Lip Matte. I had mine in the shade Smooch, which was a coral. This was, I think you can actually kind of see, this was a lip balm lip gloss that you twist it up through the folds. And actually there's a little bit left to show. It, was this sheer coral shade and I was really not that impressed with this product. I thought it was nice but I count my usage on products and I think I got to 24 days of use often being a single application before this was gone. That's ridiculous. There's really not a lot of product in these things. Um, it's actually pretty similar in size I believe to quite a few mini lip glosses that I've had. Yes, this mini lip gloss that we're gonna talk about next is 2.4 milliliters. And then this full size, I think $9 lip mask is 1.4 milliliters. Ridiculous. So I would not recommend that, but I did enjoy it. And then I, well, let's transition to that lip gloss. This is from Jules Smith Beauty. I got this through Ipsy. And it is a mini lip gloss in the shade Sunshine. This was not a pink, it was actually a clear. And then I layered it over a Pat McGrath lipstick. And uh, I wasn't kidding that those transfer like crazy. It turned the entire lip gloss pink and even the remnants on the applicator are still pink. Incredible. Um, I did really like this lip gloss. It had a nice taste to it. It was kind of sweet. I, you probably shouldn't be tasting your lip gloss, but if it's gonna have taste, you know, might as well at least be pleasant. And I thought that the effect overall was pretty. This Jewel Smith Beauty line I've only seen in subscription boxes and I'm not super intrigued to go out and see if I can find it anywhere else, but I did like this. Um, I don't think that it is super noteworthy. It was a clear lip gloss and it performed well, but it was a nice clear lip gloss. And then finally, I have another mini lip product. This was from Pat McGrath and it is 
the shade Softcore. I do have a tiny little bit left. I can actually swatch it, but I can't apply it to my lips any longer without hitting myself with the plastic. This is a mauve, I don't want to say it might be a nude on some people, but on me this shows up as a cool toned pink mauve. And it's really pretty. I enjoyed this very, very much. I think that the formula on these Pat McGrath lipsticks is very nice. It wears really well throughout the day. It's not dry at all while being very matte on the lips. Um, the only downside is that it does transfer like crazy. But I really enjoyed this. I'm kind of sad to see it go, but at the same time, I'm thrilled that I was getting good use out of this lipstick. Um, we had six months of fun together. So as far as my eyeshadow and lip product low buy goes, I brought in two and a half lip products this month and I used up one half, one, two. So I'm currently sitting at negative one half in the lip product category, which not fantastic. I did, however, again, not purchase any eyeshadow, which is fabulous, and I used one up. So I don't remember where that puts me as far as eyeshadow credits go. I think I'm up three, but I will have to double check. So I'm pretty happy with how that is going, and I think that that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see what I brought in this month, which is really the other half of this video, I will have that linked up in the card and I hope you'll check that out. Thanks again. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed and I really hope that I will see you in the next video. Bye!